In this video, I'll talk about my beautiful day. Today was Saturday. I went with my family to see my son get a haircut. I didn't, before I got incarcerated, I would have cut my own son's hair this morning. However, I didn't do that because grandmother, my mother, my brother, my wife, those three wanted my son to get the haircut at the barber shop. So we went over there. I went with them because I wanted a ride to see our other family friends that uh, they don't drive, so it's the only way to, for me to get there. So I did sit in the back seat. My mother, of course, was in the front. My brother drove. And I forgot the iPod because I, I took my spaghetti into the car. And I ate. I said hello to everyone, and then I ate. Um... My mother spoke to me at the barber shop a few minutes, just one sentence or two. And I showed my daughter a map that was on the wall at the barber shop. It was a map of the world and I showed her where well she already knew where Honduras was and Central America and and I showed her the photo of a beach that had coconut trees, I believe. And I told her that that's the type of beach that I enjoy going swimming to not the one that is without any shade which is what we have here in Florida then we I was dropped off at our friend's house and I visited with them they're a mother and son team uh, 70 and 40 or no she's 82 82 may something she told me uh, he's about in my age I went swimming at their swimming pool we tried to do a puzzle but it had it was so small it had 500 pieces that we both gave up I gave up after about mm, half an hour and she gave up at about two hours later. Um, I told her we needed one with bigger pieces. And then her sister showed up and we had a nice chat. Um, eventually my family picked me up. And what else happened? Well, I was poised around my brother. There were several things happening. I was very silent because I didn't want to start any discussions. He asked me how I was doing. I said one word, fine. I said fine. Then later he said, you are very silent. And then I said something like, uh, yes, oh, and... Uh, when will you be able to help me move the bed from the closet to the garage or my wife wants me to move this bed from I'm in the closet again right now I haven't moved out yet I had to go back and get my fan just now <laughs> because I already had moved my things out and well only my fan that, that the fan and the chair that I was on but I moved it out and my wife, uh, I did give her a hug today, or at least I was about to uh, at bedtime. She was already in bed for about 15 minutes. And she instantly said, no, 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 I'll go to your room. So I enjoyed that. That was very pleasant. Um, she was born prematurely, and I believe that that might have something to do with it. She was a seven-month-old baby, I think. And that might have something to do with why she doesn't like any physical touch. Hmm. Oh well. Not even hugs and things like that. That's quite interesting here. However, uh, by being very silent, uh, as soon as I got home tonight... Okay, let me tell you about the 
the oil change that my brother paid for. Uh, my wife discovered when she drove home that the car was smoking and that there was a rag, like a shop towel, one of those rags. I didn't see it, it they mentioned it. Inside the motor. And the oil was very, very th clear. So I, either A, there is no oil, or there's a new type of oil that is very clear. So my brother called up and they told him to call in at 7 a.m. to speak with the uh, supervisor. And the next thing, we're not sure if it does have oil or if there's a leak or if uh, it brings up the issue of trust. Do, do we think it was a good job with the oil change? Or maybe if they leave a towel there, then maybe there is a leak or something. So we'll find out what happens tomorrow. During the whole time I remained silent. My son was asking questions like, where are we going? Oh, we're going to the gas station. Um, I need to teach my son the way I was taught as a child. Uh, where are we going? We'll find out when we get there. Uh, things like that. Uh, especially when it will only take about three minutes or something. Uh, he asked a question when we didn't turn on the way home and we went to the gas station instead. Alright, so this is called being hyper vigilant. Vigilant means you're looking at something with plenty of attention. You're not just, for instance, if you get in the car with a group of people. Uh, one of the first things I would notice is, is everybody okay? Is there a reason for the silence or is everybody okay? Did something just happen? Um, for instance, it smelled like a dead animal in the car. And I didn't say anything. Then my brother said, it smells like a dead animal in here. Then my son arrived and we had just said this or my brother had just spoken and then my son said something smells terrible in here and then my wife answered my son and said yes there's probably a dead animal around here and when we opened the doors since we had the air conditioning on and it, it when it does smell went into the car <sighs> Uh, we were it was dark so we were not going to look around and see where the dead animal was there were several cats at the gas station and my son wanted to bring them home however my wife said no and and so we drove home and or my brother drove us home and dropped us off over here well, it's been a pleasant day my brother told me that he would move the bed, but he couldn't do it today. And he said, you two need to uh, give me one answer or something like that. Because my wife said that we have to clean the garage before we put the bed over there. And I said, I just want to put the bed over there so Anna, won't, Anna my wife won't have to carry it. And then he said, well, you need to give me one answer, not, not two. And I remained silent because I spoke my part. And so that's how I'm going to deal with my brother. I'll just say, will you help me? And it's a yes or no question. I won't give him any advice because he rejects my advice even though he does the same he doesn't want me to rent out rooms yet he has a roommate <laughs> so you see what I mean um, now of course it might be his co-worker or something like that but still 
he rents out a room. So everything's going very well. I'm very pleased with the way that they went. And what else is going on? My children are behaving. That's always a, a pleasant experience. Uh, my daughter asked me something and I told her that if she remains silent or poised or balanced or acts in a mature fashion, instead of when we ask her to do something, she says, why? Instead of being immature like that, then whatever she wants, she will get uh, from us or from whoever, from a relative or something. Um, for instance, carpentry, if she wants to learn something, I don't have the skill, but perhaps, like well, I do know a carpenter, or, which is the grandpa of her friend, and he has helped us with plenty of drawers that have needed to be glued back together. All right. I'm very pleased with the way my life is going now that I'm poised. I don't dance because dancing and expressing emotions in a, an artistic fashion prevent my powers of persuasion from developing. I need to conquer myself before I can dance. I need to act like the strong silent types. Those were the descriptions of men long ago. Strong silent types. I do not give my advice unless I am specifically asked and then I think about it before I give it. You can, you will, you, wa you must. Enjoy your life, my friend. Read the Bible, memorize some Bible verse and you will achieve the desires of your heart if you study the Bible and follow God and do a good deed each day, which is how I express love to my neighbors. See you next time. Bye-bye.